Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Happy Friday, Joya. How are you? I'm good. Happy Friday to you too, Mr. Martinez, and happy Friday to you, Luca. Happy Friday, Joya. Happy Friday, Mr. Martinez. Uh, good to see you, Luca. Guys, we have a brand new flag. This was sent in from Gage as a third grader. What, what do you see that he did there, Joy? What did he do with his flag? He combined the hand grateful for a silhouette thing with the United States flag. And, and actually, That's it kind of really looks cool. like a turkey, too, right? Kind of looks like my buddy Carp right here. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Gage in the third grade. Thank you for sending that in. Uh, lead us in our flag salute, Joy. Place your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Shout out to Gage again, third grade. Really appreciate that. Happy Friday to everybody, November 20th. Going to be a little cooler today. Highs in the upper 60s. Uh, guys, last weekend we had a food drive that... 50 families from our school participated in. I want to start with that real quick. Let me show you. Uh, this is from uh, Carpenter's Food Drive. It took place last Sunday. And uh, we had 50 families, and they filled up five cars of food. All the food went to the North Hollywood Interfaith Food Pantry. And they passed that, they, this Interfaith Food Pantry passes out food every Monday and every Friday. And uh, all the food was taken to Temple Beth Hillel. They stored all the food. And then the food is passed out at the First Christian Church. Uh, so this is a picture of the group that was out there and the students that came. All the food was dropped off out in front of the school and was delivered. Uh, what a nice thing for our families to do. Uh, and if your family would like to do something for the interfaith, food pantry. You can drop off food any, any day, any day of the week. You can just drop off food at that. It's called the North Hollywood Interfaith Food Pantry. So what a great thing to do. Uh, Luca, you're here today, and so that must mean it's Friday, and I know you've got your Luca lot of alas. Why don't you take over the screen, my friend? Okay. I will gladly take over your screen. And we want to remind everybody that this is Gratitude Week. We've been sharing for Student Council Spirit Week all week. And uh, Luca had students turn into him uh, some people that they're grateful for. Right, Luca? Yes. So this is from Roxanne. She had a Google document right here. And this is what it says, yeah. People I am thankful for. I am thankful for are my teachers, Ms. Shaheen, Ms. Marta, Mrs. Resnick, Mrs. Soto, Mrs. Jung, Mrs. Gund, and finally, the great Mrs. Bonder. They have always supported me when I need help. I am thankful for my best friends, Mela S., Jordan B., Kamaya S., Emily I., Hannah Hogan, and Nova H for always helping me when I'm down and when things are going out of plan. I'm also thankful for my entire family, especially my younger brother, for uh, my younger brother Hap K, for always being there and playing with me when I am bored and I can't do anything that will keep me busy. Thank you for listening. Wow, thank you so much, Roxanne. Very thoughtful for her to send that in to us for sure. Very sweet. And this is from Isaiah. This is our famous Isaiah. He's back. Thank you, Isaiah. He says that he is grateful for his Auntie Bezzy. Shout out to Auntie Bezzy. Yeah, Bezzy Bezzy. That's awesome. I, yeah. This is Shani. Shani be great. And I think she also submitted for like the breakfast thing. Excellent. Thing where I asked you guys to submit your favorite breakfast food. And she's saying that you guys got to be grateful for what you have. Absolutely. What a great message for all of us. This is Bentley. He also has a document, a link.
He says, I am grateful for all the teachers I had and for all they have taught me throughout the years. In kindergarten, Mrs. Duffy, then in first grade, Mrs. Gund, Mrs. Hong, Mrs. Jenkins. And that was only in fifth grade, first grade. Mrs. Jung in second, Mrs. Reber in third, Mr. Glover in fourth, and finally in fifth grade, Mrs. Shaheen. Thanks also to amazing enrichment teachers. I am going to miss you all. Thank you, Bentley. This is Kayla, and she submitted a picture of like her notepad, and she has a little message there. Looks like I'm grateful for school. I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm grateful for my school, my family, and my friends. Thank you, Kayla. And she has the Our carpenter logo. logo there. Yeah, nice. This is Vivian. She actually has a video. Hold on, you guys can't hear it because I have my headphones and I'll just take them. All right, that was fantastic. And I hope you guys could hear her. We got we got her. Yeah, we got her. And that's all, folks. Perfect. Thank you so much, Luca. Go ahead and give me back the screen. Uh, boys and girls, we want to remind you that every Friday we have a brand new Unity Fair family video. This week, in honor of Native American Heritage Month, uh, we've got a brand new video. Let me cue that up now and uh, share that on my screen. One of our students, Berlin, is interviewing in this video a Native American, a real life Native American in the video. The Native American's name is L. Frank. L. Frank is a well-known author, artist, and cultural educator. Her background is Tongva, the original people of Los Angeles, and Ajekamen, the original people of Long Beach, Orange, and Northern San Diego. Anything you want to add to that, Luca? Um, she starts by singing that uh, traditional song in this video. Then she speaks in her language. You're going to hear that. And then she's going to ask oh, yes. a question, right? Yeah. All right, um, here's that video. After that, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, Joanne. After that, she will show us the traditional canoe she's working on. Tu pach enga ma wish vila ya glo na 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 Miuya, ne twani ne alfrek, no ne tongvet kuka mukmovet, ko e raramuri, ko e hashman. All of that, right here from the Ale Basin, San Juan Capistro. We are part of the people that you may know about on the island of the Blue Dolphins. And for Berlin, I'll just tell you a few things that make me proud of our culture, make me proud of our people. And uh, let's see, the biggest thing is that, that I appreciate about our culture is as much as it looks as, it is, as if it is wiped out, our culture is still here. We're still learning. I wake up every morning and go to sleep every night thinking about my, the language that my people spoke. 
how do I use that language? How do I say this? How do I say that? You know, it's so very hard to find the answers to those questions, but it's not impossible. So every day to celebrate, every day, I don't care if it's November, October, December, January, July, all any of those months, any of those days, every day is a good day to be indigenous. So much of our cultures has been lost, taken away from us, but with the help of many people who understand how unjust this is, many people are helping us reconstruct our cultures. My biggest love is this. This is the beginnings of the third canoe in about 250 years, made by someone from the Tongva tribe. This is just, as you see, the most bare bones beginning. It's the bottom board that'll hold our people. It's a very, going to be a very small canoe, maybe two to three people, but it will be very fast. So this is something that I celebrate. Being able to have enough information, being able to get the wood, being able to find the people to help make this canoe so we can be in the water like our ancestors were. I'm going to show you this canoe. This is the second canoe made in 200 years. She's about 20 something feet long. She's been on tribal canoe journey four years. She's made entirely of wood. There is no metal. There are over 400 holes because we steam the planks, we glue them together, and we sew them together. This part of my culture makes me very happy, being able to do something, again, that my ancestors did. Growing the plants, making the canoes, these are the things that make me happy. So thank you very much for asking. Thanks for asking an indigenous person what's important to them. Just remember every day is a good day to be indigenous. Choop. And that is from L. Frank, indigenous uh, person from the Tongva tribe. Uh, what'd you think, guys? I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, like. Um, we learned about this person's life and how, you know, m most of the culture and heritage is lost, but, um, but people you like know, her she's constantly trying to find out, yeah, trying to, you know, research more on their behalf and Absolutely. find out more about their people. So shout out to L. Frank, shout out to Berlin for conducting that interview and sending that in for our Unity Player Family Video of the Week. Guys, it's time to do our raffle. I have in front of you, can you see this on your screen? Yes. All right, so these are all the TK kindergarten first graders that entered our raffle, our gratitude raffle. I'm going to spin it now. We're going to pick two winners. Luca, type these names in the chat. Here we go. Here's our first winner. Who is going to win the sidewalk chop? Looks like Theo Grushkow. Theo is our big winner for the sidewalk chop. Let's do, we're gonna do one more winner. We've got two sets of sidewalk chops. Here we go. Who else? Ooh, that was close. Looks like Devin Peavy. Devin Peavy. We are now going to move to second and third grade. Joy, are you ready to write these names in the chat for us? Here are all the kids yes. in second and third grade. Here's our first winner for the Jenga game. Oh my gosh. Goes to Anish. And we have one more Jenga to give away. That Jenga is going to go to. Oh, wait, Jack Kellum, Jack Kellum. Now we're going to move to fourth and fifth grade, Luca. You ready? Here are all the fourth and fifth graders. This is for the Omega Brain Yo-Yo. Here we go. Winner goes to 
Looks like Mally. And we got one more yo-yo to give away. Here we go. Second winner for the yo-yo. It'll be rocking the baby before you know it. Here we go. The winner is Yosi. Oh, I know Yosi. All right, those were our big winners. Did you guys get those names in the chat for me? Yep. All right, congratulations to everybody that won. Uh, we've got uh, our Carp's Countdown. I have Carp with me somewhere. Where is Carp? Is Carp around here? Oh, uh, there's Carp. Yeah, he's definitely. I think he's behind you. How many, stool. Days? Oh, great. How many days, guys? One. One day. One Today. day. Oh, my gosh. This is the final day. Let's do our words of wisdom. Here we go. When Evelyn Cisneros started the first grade in the early 1960s, she was the only Mexican-American in the entire school. She was very self-conscious because she felt so different from the rest. Her mother enrolled her in ballet, hoping she would overcome her shyness. Evelyn began to dream of becoming a ballerina. And when she was 18, her dream came true when she became a member of the San Francisco Ballet. In many ways, her life story can be summarized with this proverb. Step by step, one can climb the stairs. By learning one ballet step at a time, Evelyn Sinceros made her dream come true. Ask yourself this, what do I want for my future? Am I taking steps towards my dreams? With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And Joya. And Luca. And Carp. Make it a great Thanksgiving break, everybody. Or not. The choice is yours. Guys, have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, remember, we're off all next week. We come back after that next week. We hope everybody enjoys the time with your family. Show your gratitude to your families just like you did at this week at school. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye. Have Bye. an amazing Thanksgiving.